Life really is so much sweeter when we have Christian mom friends to share the joys of motherhood with, just to encourage us and admonish us when we need that. I can't tell you how many times I have come away from a play date or um, a Bible study fellowship gathering and just felt so fulfilled and edified. So as I talk to you today about building a community as a Christian homemaker, I am making coffee and cookies for a play date <laughs> and we're just preparing for company that we're going to have. And so it's important to know that when you're building a community, it's important to serve and make sure that the connections that you make, that you really foster them and that you help them to flourish because the relationships that you make, it's a symbiotic relationship, right? So God calls us to serve. And when we serve those in our lives, whether it's just by, you know, making them fun treats or dropping them off food, if, you know, they have a baby or, you know, whatever it is, we're doing the Lord's work by serving others. If you're a Christian homemaker feeling isolated or lonely or just looking to build a community, I want you to know that you are not alone. Today, I want to talk about some simple but powerful ways to find that Christian sisterhood that we all need. So the first thing that I would do, and first and probably most of all, is to find and join local Christian groups. So one of the best places to start is looking through your local um, like MOPS or BSF groups. These are wonderful communities where moms can come together, support each other, and dig into their Christian faith. So if you haven't tried them or if you haven't looked them up, definitely do that. There's often a group super close to you. I love, I've mentioned this so many times in my videos, but I love BSF, which is Bible Study Fellowship. I think that they're just so biblically sound, um, but I know that each group, whether it's MOPS or BSF or any other Christian group, I know that they kind of take on their own little culture depending on, you know, even from town to town, they can be totally different. So try them out. I know it can be a little nerve wracking to meet new people, but just try them out. And these places often have um, childcare. And so your kids can get some socialization time. And if your children are anything like mine, they will absolutely love that. So check out those groups in your community. Okay, next is to join local Facebook groups. And so the keyword here is local. Um, and the reason why I'm emphasizing local here um, in the beginning is because, of course, in-person relationships are just, they tend to be more fruitful because you're able to really connect with people on a more personal level um, and it, they can get you out of the house. <laughs> so that can be good. A local Facebook group would be searching something within the Facebook group's search bar like whatever your town name is, uh, Christian Moms, or uh, the name of your town, Christian Mamas, or um, Homemakers, or whatever. You get the idea. And you'll often find groups dedicated to connecting moms nearby. So don't underestimate the power of these online groups. They are a great way to start finding that community, even from just your own home. Next is to be bold in person. So what I mean by this is head to your local park or your grocery store or wherever, wherever it is that you hang out, your library, whatever it is, and strike up a conversation with other moms. I know, I know it's a little scary at first. Well, okay. <laughs> I don't know because I am such an extrovert. My friends always tell me that I could talk to a rock for an hour, <laughs> but I know that some people have a really hard time with this. And so sometimes just simply saying hi can open the door to a new friendship. And if you meet someone who's like me, if you just came up to me and said, hi, 
I would know how to keep that conversation going for a long time. <laughs> Open the door to a new friendship and if you're homeschooling or even if your kids are in public or private school, look into certain co-ops or PTAs or committees in your area where you can meet other parents who share your Christian values. Another tip is a friend of mine actually just recently gave me this idea, but looking around your own neighborhood. And so this is something that I do all the time because I am a talker, but when we do our little neighborhood walks as a family, I'm always talking to our neighbors. But what I want to say is consider maybe getting together or inviting one of your neighbors over to your home. Even if this neighbor is elderly, perhaps, or totally not in your season of life, that's actually a good thing. I know that as Christian mothers, we really are craving that community of moms who we can bounce ideas off of and things like that. And absolutely, there is a time and place for that. But consider meeting with people who are not in your season of life. Maybe it's, you know, your elderly neighbor who can give you wisdom because she sees the bigger picture. Or maybe it's um, a teenager that lives down the street who you can pour into them and you can teach them, you know, homemaking skills um, or, you know, how to make bread or whatever it is that you know, sewing, whatever skills that you have, you can pour into them. And who knows what would come out of that? Maybe um, that teenager would be willing to watch your kids for you while you go on a date night. So you just have to put yourself out there. And this is a muscle that you need to build. If you aren't already an extrovert, I'm not saying that you have to become an extrovert, but if you want a community, you do, you do need to put yourself out there. So it's something that will come with time and, um, you know, God will bless you if you are putting yourself out there and you're really trying to find that community. I do believe that he will bless that. Next is to find connection through your church, of course. So your church is another amazing place to connect with other moms. So look around when you're dropping your kids off at Sunday school. Most likely there's lots of other moms nearby. So introduce yourself. Again, be bold. Many churches have a mother's room too or like a parent's lounge, which is the perfect spot to meet other moms who are probably in a similar season to you. And I know that sometimes as moms, it's hard when we spend every Sunday in the mother's room because we're like, well, what are we getting out of this? Well, take advantage of that time and build your community. Okay, next is be open to, like I said, creating your own community. So one of the most important things to remember with all of this is that sometimes you just have to make your community. Occasionally people will come into your life naturally, but most of the time you have to create those connections. So host a small gathering, invite a mom friend over for coffee, start a Bible study or a book club in your own home. Yeah, when you're willing to step out, others are going to respond. That's when you'll be able to see what God can do in your life when it comes to community. So whether it's online or at the park or through school groups or within your own church, there are so many ways to start building connections. And trust me, I know it can feel intimidating, but the community you will build will be worth it. So my next tip is to pray about it. The community of mom friends that I have is truly an answer to prayer. I was that lonely isolated homemaker who felt just honestly like a prisoner in my own home for a really long time. But yeah, I just followed all these tips that I'm giving you and I was able to find a wonderful community of Christian mothers. I feel just so fulfilled and so grateful for that answer to prayer. Okay, and lastly, if you're looking for a supportive space to connect with other Christian homemakers, you can check out my Facebook group, The Transformed Homemakers Society. It's a new group, and we would love to have you. We share lots of encouraging homemaking tips. We talk about 
motherhood and marriage and you know all the struggles that homemakers face in terms of overstimulation and things like that and we're just starting to build the culture of the community so i would love for you to be part of that thank you so much for spending time with me today i'd love to hear how you are finding community so please share that in the comments so that we can all encourage each other